Hey everybody, I rolled the tractor off the truck and put it here under the shade and I noticed that there's a um, push button instead of a uh, key switch. I don't know if that's original or if that's been replaced. I am guessing that's not original. So I have to see how to start this thing. I looked online and that's supposed to be a key. So I might have to find a key switch for that. Um, but I'll hit, whoa! I don't know if you saw that on camera, but two squirrels just ran right under me. Uh, or uh, chipmunks. So anyway, I'm going to get my jump starter out and see if this will spin over at all. I got my old Noco Genius booster here. I did a review on that back in New York long ago. Let's hook this up and see if we can get something to happen here. Um, minus plus. Let me make sure I get the poles right. Plus is there. The wires are not color coded, and they're actually quite. Corroded. I hope I get a good bite on the uh, good electrical connection. The negative, at least, is good. Okay, turn this on. Got the boost turned on. Now, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen and how this works. It's in gear. It does work. That's the ignition. Okay, so it does turn over. I'm going to um, spray some starting fluid in there and see if it fires. See if we can get it to fire. See what happens. It takes a lot of power to turn that, that's for sure. That didn't sound good. Again, I had the choke closed, or the choke was for some reason closed. Let me see. Throttle up. Ooh. Not firing. I might have to charge my uh, salmon neutral. Yeah. I don't think there's a clutch safety. I highly doubt it, but we'll press it. Ooh. Belt slips for some reason. No. Okay. My battery is low. I'm not spinning fast enough. My my booster. I'm gonna have to go charge that up. I'm also gonna remove the battery, the uh, tractor battery, and uh, put that on the charger. So I guess we'll be back in a while. All right. So now I'm gonna take out the spark plug. I don't know if I got the right size for that. I don't think that's it. Alright. I'm going to see if we got spark. The battery that came with this is shot. So that's definitely not going to work for me. There's no, uh, no power at all in that battery. It's not even recognized by the charger. So that's not going to happen there. Now, 
Oh. Oh. Okay, there's not much of an electrode left on that. I don't know if it's uh I might need a new spark plug. The gap is pretty wide. Well let me see if I can get some spark on this. I can get a good ground on it. Alright, I'm gonna hook up my uh jump starter and uh see if we can get some spark. I'm trying to check for spark. Um, I'm not getting a good ground on here though, but I'm probably I can't I can't really check it down in that hole. I can't really get a good ground here, so I don't know. But I think I'm going to need a new plug. I can't really see to get. Well, I can't see if I'm getting spark on that or not. But that plug looks bad. I gotta see if I can get a better ground. I'm gonna try to check for spark. I think my plug isn't working. I think I need a new spark plug. I'm gonna see if I can find something around. I can pull it out of an engine or something for testing. I swapped in a plug from a different engine. Oops. That was it. It liked that. I don't know how old the gas is in there. I just opened the bowl. Let me see what we got. Oh, dirt. Oh. That's odd, there's dirt. Well, I don't want to put that into the engine. Huh. I don't know if the dirt's in the carb in the uh, the gas tank or in the lines, but there's dirt. I opened the valve to fill the fuel bowl, and there was a lot of dirt came out. That's not acceptable. The gas doesn't look bad, but there's dirt. I'm gonna have to check the bowl, and uh, I'm gonna drain the bowl. I'll be right back. Well, I'm just going to experiment. I open it up. I see there's a... It's odd. The There's a hole in the carburetor where the throttle goes through. I'm going to have to put JB weld on that. That's odd. Um, well, that's strange. Let me shoot some uh, starting fluid in there and see what happens anyway. Might have to find a carburetor for that. It's going to be hard to find because this is an oldie, but I want the real deal. Let me see what will happen anyway. Mmm, sort of sputtered it a little. Yeah, almost. Boy, that starter, that jump starter does not have a lot of power for this. It'd be awesome to get it to run. slow it down some. It could benefit from some newer gas, I bet. That 
that throttle is not original any, either. My jump starter's running low. too far with that. I think I checked, but I want to be sure. Um, need a rag. Well, it wants to run. Probably could be happy with the new uh, gas. Would help a lot. give this an oil change I already cracked it loose and then I decided I need to grab my camera I do like how this one has a big shaft coming out and a big easy to remove cap hope oh, it's not going to shoot out too far if anything it's going to lube my steering there we go yeah that's black time to replace that I'll let that drain out before I run this too much I wanna get new fresh oil in there so we'll be back in a little bit see that's running out right there I'll wipe off the side when I'm done yeah that's black definitely needs changing now I put in three quarters of a quart of, uh, I use 1030, you could use plain straight 30 weight, or 530, depends on your weather conditions where you are, and if you're going to use it in winter or not. Look at the color difference on that oil, see the clear color compared to what I just poured out. And then when I get a new machine like this, I usually don't run it very long before I run more clean oil through it again. Um, just to get out any dirt, contaminants, or garbage. Because usually they're not uh, serviced very well. Most people don't know a lot about servicing. So generally it's good to run a couple changes of oil through your machine if you care about it when you first get it. And that'll ensure that you at least extend the motor life while you own it. I gotta check the oil level now. I'm I'm using my left hand and it's backwards for me. I'm trying not to cover the camera. It's awkward. And we are. I can go a little bit more in there. Fill it to the oil fill line on your machine and your dipstick. And then I'll look up what kind of filter that had, air filter, later. Some horse flies after me. 
might end up in a fight here in a minute. Yep, he's after me. Um, I can put a tiny bit more in there. Anyway, I'm going to top that off. You don't have to watch me doing the, the detailed measurements. All the gears work the brake works good very well the battery's shot so I'm definitely gonna need a battery and uh, yeah, it works I got myself a decent machine here to run it does need a carburetor the guy did tell me that uh, the previous person that he got it from said it needed a carburetor and it does let me show you actually you can see smoke coming out from the carburetor where there shouldn't be smoke coming out from the carburetor. It's broken. Somebody had sort of JB welded that on where the throttle goes in. And uh, I'm going to have to patch that hole before I really run it much. That's not good at all. But it runs. It definitely runs. It needs some loving. But it runs. I'll look on uh, Amazon or on eBay and I'll see what I can find for that. But um, it's also smoking here and there. Probably old oil. But... Yeah, it needs some love and care, but it does start run and drive, and all the gears work. So, that's it for today, guys. I'll have to order the parts on that, and maybe I'll do an update later in the future. Well, thanks for watching. Working on a good old uh, Sears Super 12. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Follow my daily videos as I strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Talk to you all later.